Hello everyone, this is Sasha, aka your frugal friend, and today I'm really excited to show you how to use this amazing new Etsy keyword research tool called Insight Factory. This tool was brought to my attention by my Australian Etsy coaching clients, and they love it, and I wanted to check it out for myself. I have, and I love it too. So for background information, I've used E-Rank for years for my keyword research for my own Etsy shop, and um, I always liked it, but I felt like there were some missing things that they could have done better. This tool is the answer to those missing things. It has such great data. I've tested it with my own shop data like I do every other tool um, that I check out. I've checked out Allura, Etsy Hunt, um, Everbee, so many tools, and I think that Insight Factory, this tool, and E-Rank are the gold standards, and it is so valuable and so powerful and so i'm very excited like i said to bring this information to you today i'm going to be dropping a link to this um, website for this tool underneath this video in the video description so go ahead and click on that and check it out for yourself there is a free version and a paid version i pay 20 dollars a month for it uh, but it's so so valuable and so powerful that i mean it's such a small price to pay for such amazing information. All right, so let's get started. So when I go to um, Insight Factory, I like to click on the Etsy keyword tool to get started. So for this, I will get to this dashboard and I will first check out what I have. So I have here the Etsy uh, keyword research tool. A description generator this is what you can use to generate your own description for your product you can track Etsy shops you can look at Etsy trends and you can check out best-selling items in the most popular Etsy niches which are the t-shirt niche digital products which is what I sell in SVG files and jewelry so what you can do if you're just trying to figure out what keywords are amazing for your product so let's go with a physical product so we're gonna type in dog collar and it takes a second for the data to load, but then you get all of this output just for the long time. That's barely a long tail keyword dog collar. So not super niche. There's probably a ton of competition to rank for dog collar. So this is a good way to find um, more niche keywords to sell dog uh, collars that are super popular and get keyword ideas or to get product uh, ideas, whatever. So what I like to do when I first go to this data, I'll look at the columns I have. So I have the links to the to the Etsy product listings. I have the seven day sales, the last sale for that specific product listing, the number of views, the number of favorites, and the release date. So something that obviously released a long time ago, you might not want to pay attention to, but you might because if it's been selling for that long, then they have a good product that people really want and it's a long, a long lasting trending product. <clears throat> So I like to sort the data from seven day sales high to low because I want to see who's making the most money. That's important to me. So this top product, um, I see that they've had 254 sales in the last seven days. The last sale was today and they launched it about a year and a, a little over a year and a half ago. So you can actually click on this to look at, do more market research of the product. So we see it's an Etsy pick and it's a, it's a personalized leather dog collar. That's a great long tail keyword for a product like this. They like, they show that the product can be engraved. It's custom, has a nameplate, and it's made of leather. And these are things that people really, really want for this specific kind of product. So if I was gonna be going into the dog collar niche, I would say, okay, I'm gonna make a personalized a leather dog collar. And I might specialize by making it different by having more customizable fonts. I might make the nameplate bigger. I might use gold instead of silver, whatever. You just wanna differentiate yourself from this bestseller, but you can see that this person, if they're doing really well, the price is super affordable. So you have to also check out all those ingredients to make sure that this is like a product you'd wanna make, or maybe you see that your own product is priced at $50 for a product, and you're like, I can't go down any cheaper because then I won't be making any money. Well, then it might be time to pivot into a different type of personalized dog collar. So always make sure that you um, do this research so that you're um, able to elevate your Etsy shop uh, in a way that you're comfortable with. All right, so then you can also sort the data from the release date, high to low, you know, I mean, our newest to oldest. So you can see here, this person, um, they released this a little bit over a month ago 
and they have 59 sales. And you can see with this listing image that they made it very fall themed. And it's yet again, a leather dog collar. It's engraved, it's customizable. They're also positioning it to be a cat collar. So see how the, um, they use that idea of a leather dog collar that's customizable and can be engraved, but for their listing, they have that cute fall theme. It's outside and makes you think about taking your pet to the park. And on their name plates, they aren't metal. They're actually engraving leather. So these are all details that you want to look at for your Etsy product to make sure that it's competitive, that, um, you know, maybe you could have better photography like outdoors like this to make people think about their dog being outside. Um, and you can look at all these ingredients, pair it with the keyword research, with the product research to, to get better listing um, words, long tail keywords and tags for your shop. So then another thing you can do is for this uh, keyword, we can go to, we can actually type in, let's say that we really wanna make leather dog collars leather dog collar and then we want to know what the best selling tags for this long tail keyword are so we're going to go to copy best selling tags and you can copy that and just go ahead and I'll, to show you this i'll just paste the the 13 tags that are the most popular because etsy lets you put 13 tags in your product um for each of your products down beneath the description and such so it looks like for leather dog collar, the best selling tags are leather dog collar, dog collar leather, custom dog collar, engraved dog collar, personal, personalized collar, boy dog collar, collar personalized girl dog collar, small dog collar, something people are looking for, and also um, a puppy collar, pet collar, large dog collar, etc. So you can see that this is a super, super popular product, and, but it's more niche and you get better ideas of what's best selling. That's why I love this tool. You can do it for any kind of product you want. It's so powerful. Another thing that you can do with the Insight Factory tool is you can just go ahead and see what the best selling items are. And so we can go into the digital products niche because I they emphasize that, it's amazing, I love it. And you can just kind of see the top selling digital products are printable art, digital planner, business planner, digital invite, et cetera, et cetera. So they have here, for example, they have mock-ups. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's say you have a mock-up shop. So then you can kind of see, you know, you can sort by sales potential or you can uh, sort it by the number of sales or competition. So I'm gonna sort it by sales. So this Christmas sweater mock-up, this person who makes mock-ups is trying to um, make mock-ups in a seasonal niche. So they're going to make mock-ups for like Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween or whatever. And that's a smart idea for mock-ups. Uh, so oversized sweatshirt mock-up and you know, like a Tumblr mock-up for Canva. So people want these mock-ups for specific programs. It could be Photoshop, Canva, Adobe Illustrator, whatever. And so you see, you can get an idea of what's selling for these different um, mock-up products, the, this specific type of digital product. And you can do this for any kind of product that you have for your Etsy shop. Um, so I highly recommend checking out this tool. It's super amazing, super powerful. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.